So hello YouTube, uh, this thing has arrived today and I am actually very happy. So let's unbox it. I'm not quite sure whether this thing is sharp enough or not, but I think it should be. Then I do not want to destroy the packaging so that we can have the uh, unboxing experience, I guess. Well, this is pretty OEM. <laughs> so yeah, Shenzhen Communications. Take a look at this thing. Let's see what's inside. Let's see how good this thing actually is. So, oh yeah. There is another box inside. <laughs> awesome. I am kind of happy about this thing, to be honest. But we'll see. So let's see what's inside. Oh, awesome. So, there are some instructions. And this is the uh, stronger version, this is the uh, community edition. I think that this thing has 3 gigs of RAM and the other one has 2. So, this community edition of the Pine Phone ships with beta release of Manjaro. For those of you who don't know, Manjaro is an Arch based Linux operating system designed with user friendliness in mind. Uh, getting started before you boot the device for the first time, please make sure to carefully read the quick start guide included in the box. The manual contains information with the initial hardware setup, safety instructions and whatnot. Blah, resources, kernel. You can report uh, non-OS specific kernel issues you encounter on gitlab.com slash pine64-org. You know what? Fuck it. I'll probably have to read it later on. But let's see what's inside. This is the phone. I am so happy about this thing. It's the USB. And it is a sexy red one. And it is, yes, it's a USB-C cable. This is meter, meter and a half. But still, good enough. Okay. And... <laughs> there is no charger. So this dock has uh, two USBs. And these are uh, two USBs 3.0, this is HDMI, this is the LAN connector, and uh, another USB, I think this one is for power, as you can see. And this thing is aluminium, aluminium, it looks like a good quality. So, let's remove this thing out of the packaging. And this thing actually looks quite beautiful. You know what, let's open the plastic and let's see how this thing looks. So get a load of this. This is a battery that's replaceable. Now I'm aware that this thing is not uh, waterproof or whatever, but uh, yeah, but get a load of this. There is a little sticker which actually protects the battery from uh, being discharged. This is awesome and as you can see with small prints, you can actually turn off everything in here. So you know what, uh, let's turn this thing on. And there are some uh, pins in here, which do not connect to anything. Go figure. Okay, let's see if this thing will turn on. So, red LED. I think that the battery is dead, unfortunately. Oh no, hell no. This thing looks like a <laughs> Windows loader. Awesome. You know what, I'll change the uh, camera angle so that we can uh, focus on the phone. So as you can see, this is Linux booting. And the camera, yeah, the screen is quite glossy, but what can you do? And the LED is on again. So the boot time is not that fast, but you know, that's actually irrelevant. And you know what, I'll connect the uh, power cable, just to be uh, on the safe side. <coughs> so, sorry, uh, <coughs> hey! One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, finally, I guess. So, language, English, okay. Let's choose English. And 
and um, next typing English US next to be fair out of the box this is a little bit laggy now I will be connecting to my uh, Wi-Fi so just a second it's Game Boy and we are connecting and let's see whether this thing will work or not okay next privacy location services okay we'll see where this thing will get us connect your online accounts no okay cool so this is the uh, mobile phone now I can tell you out of the box this thing is a bit laggy but you know who cares let's see whether the uh, do we have something here something here no something from the bottom okay Terminal. Ah. Cool. Let's see what do we have. Hmm. Okay, and enter. So this is our operating system. Okay, awesome. Now this is this was just the unboxing and I will be messing around with it. But you know what? Before actually, let's try to see just how good the camera is. Or is it the shittiest camera ever? Mm, authenticator? Is it this Google's authenticator? I think not. And the loading of this thing is actually uh, slow. Okay. I mean, I did not expect it to be ultra fast to be fair, but okay. Maybe it has been emulated. And I do not see the... Okay, we have Firefox, which is awesome. And we have Chess, which I also quite like. But I do not see the camera application. Strange. Okay, brightness. This is the uh, torch. Torch is quite powerful, actually, I think. But I do not see a camera. Maybe Megapix. And again, loading is quite slow, especially for the specifications. Okay, camera. Oh boy. <laughs> so, let's take a photo of the box. Let's take a look at how this thing looks like. Okay, I am trying to press, as you can see. So the front camera, oh boy. <laughs> so you know what, this video is like already 10 minutes long and uh, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll be uh, posting another video as well. I need to use this thing for some time to see just how good this thing actually is, but maybe if I need to press it for a longer time. Uh, okay, so I did actually take photo, but there is no sound, as you can see. So probably... <laughs> oh boy. Okay, if you like this video, please click thumbs up. If you did not, you know what to do. And uh, until the next time. And you know what, I will be updating this thing. So uh, yeah, that might help, I guess. So see you soon. This is so slow. <laughs>